An aircraft carrier is a floating base that allows the Navy to conduct aerial attacks on any part of the world. Because of how dangerous this kind of vessel can be during a war, they would be subject to attacks from adversaries. How exactly would the 5,000 sailors aboard an aircraft carrier leave the ship if it's hit by an explosion or it starts to sink? It is common for every ship to possess at least one lifeboat. Ships must carry the required number of lifeboats, all of which must be immediately accessible so they can be deployed in an emergency. However, does this rule apply to aircraft carriers? And do ships of this type even have lifeboats? They certainly do. They utilize something called a life raft, which is a more sophisticated form of a lifeboat. The life rafts of the United States Navy are stored in canisters made of heavy-duty fiberglass and can be deployed either manually or automatically. If the ship starts to sink, a hydrostatic release device will detect a shift in pressure and then activate an automatic launching and inflation system. At night, when temperatures drop and the internal air pressure drops along with them, a manual pump is provided to top off the pressure. The life rafts used by the United States Navy have an excellent rate of inflation reliability. The life rafts have hatches that can be sealed to prevent rain and seawater from getting inside. A manual reverse osmosis desalinator, bottles of fresh water, individual food packets, fishing kits, signaling mirror, rocket and smoke flares, flashlight, spare sea anchor, first aid kit, spare batteries and bulbs, and aluminized mylar sheets, also known as space blankets, are all part of the equipment that is included in the survival kit. The inflatable life rafts used by the U.S. Navy undergo maintenance once every five years. In today's world, it is quite unusual for sailors serving on an aircraft carrier to find themselves in a predicament where they need to use a life raft. Why? This is because an aircraft carrier is extremely difficult to sink and well protected. The construction of aircraft carriers requires significant financial investment. For instance, each of the most recent Ford class carriers cost over $12 billion to build. Besides that, operating costs aren't cheap either. It is projected that the most cutting edge aircraft carriers in the United States Navy have an annual operating cost of more than $1 billion. With the huge money spent on each carrier, the Navy took it upon itself to ensure maximum and tight security for these vessels. Because of this, the United States Navy essentially created the Carrier Strike Group. Such groups contain an aircraft carrier, usually a cruiser and a slew of destroyers, frigates, submarines and other auxiliary ships. The Carrier Strike Group is one of the most powerful naval fleet compositions that operates in the 21st century. Therefore, launching an attack against an aircraft carrier would be quite challenging. What about the possibility of aircraft carriers sinking? The design and construction of modern carriers makes it extremely unlikely that they will ever capsize. Imagine a hypothetical scenario in which a carrier strike group faces off against an enemy fleet to better understand how difficult it is to sink a carrier. The United States Navy uses various commercially available life rafts, the number of life rafts that are stored on board United States Navy ships is determined by the maximum number of personnel that can be carried aboard the ship and adding 10% for the margin of safety. Aircraft carriers typically carry both MK7 and MK8 varieties of life rafts in equal numbers. The lifeboat is designed to be as space efficient as possible and is constructed out of individual compartments, sometimes called tubes. The initial inflation is provided by two air cylinders holding dry, breathable, compressed air inside them. Each cylinder can hold as much as 5,000 pounds per square inch or PSI of compressed air. However, this varies depending on the model of the life raft. Each life raft comes complete with an external light beacon that may be activated automatically as well as interior lights. Batteries containing lithium are what keep the lights on. Let's begin by supposing that an enemy ship or aircraft is attempting to launch an attack against the carrier. The air wing would be the first component of the carrier to be put into operation. That means that the F-A-18 and F-35 fighter jets will destroy every possible danger even before it gets close enough to attack. The F-35 boasts particularly cutting-edge technologies and performs exceptionally well in combat situations. 
However, suppose the air wing cannot eliminate the threat for any reason, and the adversary continues to advance. In that case, it will be necessary for the remaining members of the carrier group to take up the task. In conjunction with the formidable destroyers of the RLA Burke class, the nuclear-powered submarines can identify and neutralize anything that poses a threat to the fleet while maintaining an impressive perimeter. These vessels can eliminate any potential danger because they are armed with a wide assortment of weapons. Additionally, the auxiliary ships are constantly present to lend support to the front line of the fleet as well as supply it. Even if the enemy danger gets close enough to the carrier to launch an attack, the ship is equipped with a sophisticated defense system in case this happens. In addition to radar and other forms of contemporary technology, the carriers are armed with very effective weapon systems. They are equipped with cannons, missiles, and systems capable of defending the ship independently without human intervention. It is important to keep in mind that aircraft carriers, particularly for the United States, have tremendous dimensions and can displace hundreds of thousands of tons of water. These ships are extremely resilient and can withstand significant damage before going down. However, the United States Navy has not taken any chances and it has made it a priority to provide all aircraft carriers with adequate supplies of lifeboats if the unthinkable should occur. With these life rafts, sailors can escape from the aircraft carriers in case of an emergency. That'll be all for today's video. Thanks for staying tuned. Let us know what you think of this topic in the comments. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can always get to watch more amazing videos like this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.